Hi guys, how's it going? Welcome to my virgin kitchen. Uh, today I'm showing you how to make something wicked called cowboy pie. It's like that, it's really yummy, quick and easy. All the ingredients are here. Hit pause on the video and write them down. Here's the intro song and let's go. Uh, there's a place in your house where it's cool to chill, get some me time or even cook a meal. It's your kitchen mofo, ain't no time to slack. So just grab yourself a penny and let's work that ass. If you're scared of this place, ain't no need to bother. Just lay down your weapons and pick up another. Okay then guys, let's get started and make this recipe. I need to turn myself into a cow as you've already seen. Uh, it's because the recipe is called cowboy pie. So I thought rather than being a cowboy, I could be a cow and I'm a boy. Right, here we go then. I am dressed as a cow indeed. I got this outfit from my stepdad. He's got loads of costumes and look, check this one out. I've even got an udder. It's got lipstick marks all around it, particularly around the areoli slash nipple area of the udder. And uh, I've got to ask my stepdad a few questions about that. Uh, you'll notice that there's no um, hat thing. I think apparently that went missing. I don't know, too many stories there. So I've got a Cruella de Vil wig. And wearing that like that makes it look a little scary. So I'm gonna take that off right now and uh, I'm just gonna cook like a cow. Mm. Right ho, so I want to thank Ben MUFC83. There is his Twitter name. Uh, thank you very much for your suggestion. Although he's a Man United fan, so you can contact him or abuse him if you want to on Twitter. Uh, yeah, he said about this cowboy uh, pie. So here we go. Real proper classic student y ingredients in here. Just chuck it all in there baked beans, sausages, bacon, all that cheap stuff, mushrooms. I'm going to give it a little barbecue sauce twang. Just barbecue sauce straight off the shelf, or you could make your own if you've got time. It will save you a lot of time if you just. You know, squirt it. Uh, the most boring bit here is the water in this pan that I'm bringing to boil because first of all we're going to boil up our potatoes, get them nice and soft and then mash them Brrr, like a cow would moo mash. Mm. Right, here we go. That water is boiling away. Wicked, wicked, wow, wow. And I've got some potatoes here. We're gonna, these are Charlotte potatoes but you can use any type you want. Big ones, small ones. As they're smaller, they'll cook a little quicker. Ooh. I'm going to drop them in carefully because if I just splash them, the water will go all over my cow soup. I don't want that. Okay, so once you're about 10 minutes in, grab yourself a big bowl like that to the side because you need that in a bit. But your potatoes are there and they're sort of lonely, so we need to add some other ingredients into this process and stop you getting bored and feeling a little bit odd wearing a cow outfit. Deal? Cool. So what I've got is some sausages. If you can't get sausages in your country, maybe try some chicken. Chop up some chicken, yeah? And I'm just cooking it on a pan. I've got six sausages there like that. So I'm going to get my tongs. Tongs. And I'm just going to turn them around as they cook like that. But with the chicken breast, you can dice it up, cook it through so it's nice and golden brown. We're going to add bacon, mushrooms and other stuff in there as well. Make it all nice. Right here then folks, hope you're keeping up. Check this out. Bow. There is our sausages in there. If I turn it over, starting to cook. Cook them all the way through. But right here are some mushrooms and a, that is an onion. Yeah, yeah, that's not a tomato. We're going to chop that up right now, like this. Boom, there we go then. So the onions and the mushrooms are sat there all chopped up, cow style uh, First of all though, we're gonna grab this bacon and get it in a pan, this way. Okay, so all I'm doing is grabbing my bacon like this. I'm gonna use about four or five rashes and just plonk it in the pan, just like that one there. And it will shrivel up a bit, there will be space, because we still wanna get the onions and the mushrooms in it and make it up like a big cow frenzy frying station. Okay, let's do a couple of things in one go. Uh, you might notice that I moved my pan, cha-ching, from there to there. That was because I nearly set myself on fire in this cow costume just then, so uh, please do not do that. Uh, one other thing is because we're frying it, a lot of juices from the bacon and the sausages are in there, a bit fatty, so try and drain it off if you can. Other than that, you could oven bake it. So what we're gonna do now is grab our mushrooms and onions and just pour that in the pan like that. They will shrivel up loads, okay? Loads and loads and loads. It will sort of sweat itself out. Kind of like how I'm feeling right now in this. Now, our massive mixing bowl, we're gonna get a tin of chopped tomatoes, dump that in there like so, and two tins of baked beans, and that goes as well. Okay, so we just put those baked beans in there and all of a sudden it came to me, I'm not the only person in this house wearing a onesie. Check out this little girl right here, high five. High five. It needs work, right? Yeah. Right, sorry about that interlude. Yeah, so the baked beans and the tomatoes there, you can give it a big stir around like that. It is cold. It's kind of like those things that people do when they're for charity, where they sit in a big bathtub full of baked beans. Crazy people, they are. They're wild. Uh, yeah, paprika, smoked paprika, a couple of teaspoons of that in there. Da -da -da -da. Give it a nice, funky, smoked uh, uh, barbecue sauce as well. Here we go. Nice big squirt of that. <laughs> I'm going to go for two tablespoons. Ooh, I like that. Uh, give it a big, big stir around. 
Okay, so that last step with the barbecue sauce is completely optional. You know, it's a cowboy pie. I feel like I need to come out of my cow suit and into a cowboy. Yeah, partner, uh, barbecue sauce and all that. That's kind of what I'm doing. But you can maybe put some herbs in there. Maybe like a sort of funky Italian feel on there. Look, look, look. Maybe some pasta in there. I don't know, up to you, yeah? Uh, so there we go, this is gradually cooking down. The potatoes are nearly done. It's all coming together. Eventually, it's gonna go in this big bowl right there. And let me show it in the oven. It's easy, it's easy. Okay, folks, I'll turn the heat down. Oh yeah, baby, turn the heat down. Oh yeah, baby. Uh, so yeah, that is just cooling down now. All the mushrooms and the onions are all softened up. It's smelling really good. All the flavors combined in there. And there's not many flavors, it's just the natural stuff inside it, which might contain a bit of fat. Uh, so here we go, potatoes. They need to be drained off. I test them with a knife and they are nice and soft. So I'm just gonna pour them in here and just drain them through like that. Then we're gonna mash away, get it all in there, baby. Okay, so my potatoes are all drained off. As you know, I like to leave the skin on mine. I like my potatoes the way I like my ass to hot, my women. I don't really know how to express that, but if you wanna give me an idea, I like my potatoes the way I like my women rough. No, I don't know. Oh, don't tell Mrs. Barry I said that. I'm going to add a little bit of milk, first of all, because I know it always has a bit of milk, and some cheese, like a big handful of that. Pre-grated, being super lazy. And then I'm just going to mash away with my masher. Uh, okay, so I've done my mash, and you can see those specks of pepper on there as well, which I've added for a little bit of a, ooh, when you do that. What I used was charlotte potatoes, and what I seem to find, when I mash those, the skin, is potatoes seem to be like people with spots, when you're growing up, different levels of acne. And the charlotte potatoes, the skin just seems to be all flaky and fall off. Really bad reference there, but that's what I like about that, because that skin's really gonna be in the potato. That yeah, cowboy rustic feel right there. So, this pan has cooled down sufficiently now. Do I do it while you're here now? I think I will. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna tip all of that straight in to there. That was cool. Right here then, folks. I was a bit lazy that last step, and now I'm gonna pay for it. Basically, the sausages, no one's gonna wanna put a sausage like that in their mouth in one go, are they? Okay, uh, so what I'm gonna do is cut it into thirds. Um, maybe you can cut it in half if you want with some food scissors. So I'm just gonna go, ooh, ah. I'll just do that to all my sausages, yeah. Okay, I've just had a whiff or a smell, if you're interested, like this. And that barbecue essence is wafting up there and I wanna add to it. I'm feeling naughty. I really wanna add chorizo in there, but I haven't got any chorizo. And I don't wanna go to the shop wearing a cow outfit. That might be a little bit odd. Should I do it? Not this time. But maybe I will. Uh, so yeah, that is it, basically like that. We've got ourselves a casserole dish, We've got my mashed potato, We've got some cheese, a little bit more paprika, a little bit more black pepper, and then we're ready to build it up in the oven. Do you like that? In the oven. <sighs> Yeehaw, cowboy, and all that. Let's uh, get our funky sausagey mixture right in there. Let's pour some in there. Oh. Beautiful, so that is sat on there, and I've got around about a half inch gap there to just layer my potato on the top. So uh, do that, spread it on there if you want, get it nice and high, make patterns with your fork, go crazy. Okay, so I plonked it on a baking tray like that because ladies and gentlemen, let's not fool ourselves here, it is gonna bubble over on the side. So I've got some paprika again, just gonna put a little sprinkling of that along the side there. Some more pepper. And then finish it with a good coating of cheese. You might notice there's actually rake marks. I've gone up and down it with my fork to make funky lines. Ooh. So this cheese is gonna melt all on the top there and embed it all together. Right here then, folks. My cowboy pie is absolutely covered. Can you see that? All the cheese and the paprika, the pepper and the lines on there with the potato. Oh my goodness. It's going in the oven now. And I have to just sit here and just play with my udders. That's so wrong. It's gonna go in there for about half an hour, get all that cheese nice and melted. Ooh. Right here then folks, so that's it really. I'm just sort of studying it in a cow outfit thinking, uh, what do I do now? Maybe I could do some cow puns, like I look utterly ridiculous or give myself a pat on the back. Maybe not. Uh, yeah, so all, in truth, all I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna have a little chill out because this recipe is that easy. Uh, I've got some uh, garden salad from a supermarket. I'm just gonna give that a little bit of revitalization under a tap and serve it with the pie. Yeah, cool. Okay guys, I am officially being milked. That sounds really, really wrong uh, by my daughter who's got the wig on. How are you doing, mate? Step back, let people say hello. Come here. Wait, get off my nose. <laughs> get off my others. Come here, say hello. Hello. Go five. Get off your right. She just wants to play with the others. This is very awkward, so, uh, wait. Someone's had too much sugar, right? Right here then folks, that has been 35 minutes and I spun it around halfway through and yes, it did get a little messy so you do need the tray but that is all nice and golden brown. It was bubbling when I took it out and the smell in here, 
I know I keep smelling, but it is good. That is good right there. So I've got my little bit of salad there, revitalized it in a bowl with a little squirt of lemon juice, completely up to you. Uh, let's just plate it up now. Ooh, ooh. All right, so I'm gonna grab myself a plate like so and uh, put on a big spoonful of the cowboy pie right there. Yeah, partner. Super duper, check that out. I spooned on my mash, it's there all nice and firm with that cheesy topping and the rest has spilled out under it. Still a nice little bit of fluid there with the beans. It's piping hot. I'm gonna grab some of my salad and just sprinkle that in there like that. Maybe a little bit of pepper on the top still and how about a last minute topping while it's still warm. Just a teeny bit more cheese like that. Oh my goodness, simple and hopefully yummy. Let's go for it. Right here then folks, I am in the mood, I'm in the mood, sorry, I'm in the mood for eating this right now, it smells so good, all these flavours in there are broken down into my mash and cheese, here we go, proper lazy funky food right here. Oh my goodness, I'm just going like that, I'm like, ow, ow, can you eat me, I'm so excited, I am one happy, happy cow, utterly amazing taste right there. If I can make this, absolutely anyone in the world can. Thank you, Ben, for your recipe suggestion. Have a go for yourself. Let me know how you get on. It's really good. It's really good, yummy and easy. I'll see you again next time. Leave a comment and like the video and stuff if you, if you like it. Cheers.